Hey guys, it's Emulator Showdown. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the outlines permanently without cheats. As you can see, I got two kind of Pokemon games. One is HD without outlines and the other one is standard with outlines. So I'm showing you this so that you can see this is the standard version with outlines. And I've known this method actually for a long time, but I didn't really think it was necessary since we had cheats to fix it. But lately we had Citra versions without cheat, cheat options, so I decided to make this video. For this you will need a program called HXD Hex Editor. You can just google it and download it. First we open program. Go to file, open and let's open our standard moon game. The codes will be in this video description so you can just copy paste it. Let's copy the original code so we can find it inside the game. We go to search, don't forget to put it in hex decimal version and paste the code. Let's find it. So this is the code we have to change. Let's copy paste the new code and paste it on top of the old code. Okay, so now it's done. We have to save. This will take a little while. Okay, so now it's done. This one is the edited version, so it's the HD version, and this one is the backup. This is the old one. You can delete the dot back, and it will be the original again. But anyway, let's go back to Citra to test it out. I'm gonna open my newly edited file now. This game. Okay, let's see if the outlines have been moved, removed. Yes, as you can see the outlines have been removed, so it has been a success. The following are footages of Citra running on 3.1 GHz. I had announced that I will include lower clock speeds so you can see what you can expect. This part of the game is pretty hard on Citra, so keep that in mind. Uh, like other games, on Pokemon Moon we also see a little FPS boost. Some games had higher FPS difference, but it seems on Moon the difference is not that big. But every little bit helps when you are not playing on 60 FPS, so... The following video is me playing Citra on 2.5 GHz. This resembles the most laptop processor speeds, so you could probably expect this speed on your laptop if it's around 2.5 GHz. By the way, the little FPS difference is also noticeable here. And for the last part I compared them on 4.4 GHz since I play on this speed myself. Like the previous two comparisons we can see the same difference here as well. That's it guys, hopefully the explanation was clear. Good luck with the editing and have a nice day.